Do I need a beater watch? Yes, I do. And so do you. Stay tuned to see the three reasons why I bought a beater watch. So what is a beater watch? I'm sure you've heard the term. There are lots of definitions out there, but I think it's a watch that you don't mind if it gets cosmetically damaged. And to take that to an extreme, a watch you don't care if it gets destroyed. Some people will add to that definition and say it's a watch that is rugged. As the old commercial goes, a watch that can take a licking and keep on ticking. So what watches can be considered beater watches? Well, that really depends on your own lifestyle. What activities do you perform? What's your economic situation? For some people, a Rolex is a beater watch. For others, it's a Casio or an inexpensive Timex. It all depends on what you're gonna do with the watches in your collection and the price range of your watches. So why do I need a beater watch? Well, first of all, I'm a new collector and I'm still babying my watches. I want them to stay as pristine as possible. But even as I mature out of that phase, there are gonna be situations and conditions to which I don't want to subject my watches, like swimming even, yard work, working out in the gym, or maybe even bad weather, snow. The third reason I want a beater watch is really to have a grab and go watch. Something I don't have to dig into my watch box for, something that's lying around that I can wear in almost any situation. The first time I thought about getting a beater watch was right after I bought my Squale 1521 Diver. I was about to leave on a cruise to the Caribbean, and the Squale would have been perfectly well in that environment. Swimming, scuba diving, lying on the beach. But I was a little leery of taking a brand new $900 watch on that sort of a trip. So I decided to look for a beater watch. After looking around at different watches, I chose the Seiko Prospect SRPV55 better known as the Seiko Samurai, a diver watch that's under $300 and has a lot of character. The watch came in this little case with cushion, and you can see I bought the gunmetal PVD coated variety. I think that'll look even better if it ever gets worn or scratched. The band I'm showing now is not the band it came on. I bought a Zulu tropical rubber strap band because the one it came on, although comfortable and looked nice to begin with, started to have some issues. You can see where the coating or some film started to peel off and it just became looking ratty. Not only that, the rubber is a dust magnet, as you can see, and it constantly required cleaning and just really wasn't worth it. So I like this strap much better. The watch is 43 and a half millimeters wide and about 13 millimeters thick, but it looks much more massive. Those lugs really don't start to taper until the very end and it gives the watch a very chunky look, which I like in a tool or beater watch. The lugs are drilled. The back is clear stainless steel, not coated in that PVD. It's a screw down back and just has some of the information about the watch. All in all, the watch has a very beefy feeling, given that the case thickness really runs almost to the edge of the lugs. However, it doesn't feel that heavy on the wrist. It's got a large screw down crown protected by some crown guards and the standard three positions for winding, quick set of the date, and as you can see, hacking of the second hand. The dial has these applied hour markers with gold trim with the loom in the middle and only the three o'clock hour marker is 
trimmed a bit to allow for the white date wheel, but to me, because the date wheel is white, it still balances with the nine o'clock hour marker. The hour hand is a triangle and the minute hand is sword shape. And the nice thing is when they line up, it actually looks like a rocket ship, as you can see here. Just a neat little aspect of the watch that you can look forward to every once in a while. The bezel has this cross hatch design in it, which adds to the tough look of this watch. As I said before, the watch that was originally sent to me had an issue, one that seems to be common with Seiko divers, and that is misalignment somewhere on the dial. Most of the time, I hear it attributed to the chapter ring, but I believe in my case, it was faulty positioning of some of the applied hour markers. You can see here on the watch that I currently have that all the hour markers are properly placed. But on the first version I got, the four o'clock and the five o'clock hours were positioned slightly early and did not line up with the chapter ring. This is something that I just couldn't live with, especially knowing that it's an issue with Seiko watches. So I sent it back and ended up with one that is very well aligned and quite pleasing. The last thing I'll point out about the watch is that waffle pattern on the dial. It really helps to make those hour markers stand out. And on the wrist really adds to the overall aesthetics of the watch. As always, please let me know if you're enjoying this video by hitting that like button and contribute to the conversation in the description below. If you want to be notified about new videos, please subscribe and hit that bell icon.